mistress has been and gone, uh, so we've got both tanks out now. Uh, we've got my uh, Tiger that you've seen already, and then we've got Lizzie's Sherman. Um, as, as in real life, quite a difference between the two. I've just sort of stuck on the, the extras on my Tiger. They haven't glued them into place, I've just pushed them in because I'm hoping to paint the tank at a later stage. So they'll need to come off so they can be repainted. We've got Bob, Feldwebble Feld Webble Webble Bob, Feld Wibble Bob uh, in place. And we've, I've got the uh, infrared debris on the top there because uh, these tanks can do infrared battle. In terms of the Sherman, Sherman comes with more sticky on bits. Um, let me go around that way, see if it gets slightly better light in there. Uh, it's missing a front wheel on the front, uh, should have another one stuck on there. Um, but it's got a few bits and pieces that you kind of just stick on as, as extras. Um, we had a, a nightmare getting the decals on the sides. What the sheet says is you stick them on, leave them on for about 15 minutes, then peel the backing strip off, which we did. But the backing strip was peeling off the decal. It seemed that the backing strip was stuck to the decal better than the decal was stuck to the tank. So it just kept on pulling it off. And no amount of fiddling about with a sharp edge or anything like that would really resolve the problem. So that was a bit of a pain in the bum. And then we've got um, Billy Bob. So we've got Feldwebel Bob, Billy Bob. <coughs> and both tanks come with sound, uh, but the sounds are quite different. So let's do the Sherman first of all. I'll turn the volume up on the sound. I would say that the sound generally sounds a lot better than it does on the YouTube videos that I've seen. In real life it does sound much better. It's quite loud. Obviously you can vary the volume, but um, yeah, it is quite loud. Here's the, uh, the Tiger. Very different sound. And it is proportionate to the vehicle moving. Now, as I said, both of these tanks are equipped with the infrared battle system, enabling them to have battles. I can't find a way, if you've loaded the BBs, I can't find a way of just using the infrared. It fires BBs as well, and it fires them at a hell of a pace. But here's the slight flaw in the, um, in the infrared is that it's not directional, so it doesn't actually aim at, at the point that the gun is aiming at. Uh, so if I fire the Tiger, So it's hit the Sherman there, shakes and flashes its lights, and you get, I think it's five lives before the tank will switch off, and you have to switch, or it shuts down, you have to switch it back on again. There he goes again. Now I've set up a little tank course in the kitchen. I'm having to hold the, uh, the camera with one hand and try to control the tank with the other, so it's a little bit tricky. So apologies if it's a bit wobbly. And my control of the tank may not be quite what it could be. We've had a lot of fun doing some tank battles around the kitchen. The cat's not quite so keen on it, but hey, we've had fun. And you can position the tank really quite accurately, actually. Pretty good. I haven't tried them outside as yet because of the weather. It's been absolutely rain. And I'm probably going to get the metal upgrade to this one before I take it outside. The 
which is nowhere near full speed. They can, they can tip along at a fair old rate. Thank you. 